Okay, straight on to it. Into the Corrupted Dungeons we go. Uh, today we're back with Lingsy on my adventures in Albion and uh, my learning how to do proper uh, PvP because I've realized I have over 3,000 hours in this game and I have still to learn to do PvP. Anyway, the, there's a series of fights. The first one is against Fire Stick, pretty standard Fire Stick build. Uh, I believe Fire Stick, uh, Taproot, Cleric Rope, Hunter Hood, Soldier Boots. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. Now, in this fight, and most of the fights I'm doing in Corrupted Dungeons, I am learning how to deal with positioning. In the case of this guy, I kept positioning myself and the fight took a while, and I just tried to get him to come to me. Uh, my idea was that I can pin him into in the ground just where the mob will be hitting him, we'll get the assist on the mob. But yeah, that didn't work. The fight went straight forward. I managed to Gigapod is E, I mitigated quite a lot of his damage, and then I just, you know, spammed my abilities till he died. I was very, very, very close to dying there, but it, it in the end it went well. In the end it went well. The loot was okay, so I went and did the responsible thing and depoted. The next fight did not go so well for me. The next fight, it, honestly, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I panicked the hell out and I I just wasn't thinking clear. It's a quarterstaff. Now, quarterstaff is one of my favorite weapons. I haven't leveled up in the EU server, but yeah, as you can see here, I am getting my ass handed to me and I start making mistakes. My first mistake is here. I randomly use my gig pods when I shouldn't. I'm spamming my abilities and for some reason I could not target him over there and I think that cost me the fight. I missed my E and I could not target him and as you can see like he's, he just finishes his gig pot. I get a pretty good E there but it's too late right. My, my health is just gone and I, I just die. Um, it's a very strong build from his end. Uh, the quarter stuff build is really strong. Especially if you do the combo, there's a tempo to it. There's um, like it's your know, the third Q, you know, the third uh, auto, you also know, extra damage, and you combine that with the abilities. But now we're fighting an interesting build, and I was terrified against this build. I switched to interrupt because I wanted to try and interrupt the ability of this bloody healing stuff. Life touch is really difficult to deal with simply because it just the, the healing that they have is insane. Um, they can heal themselves to full, essentially fully reset, and uh, they don't have problems with mana, they don't have problems with anything. Like over here, almost up, no, 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 it just heals back to full, uh, heals back to full. Um, um, I honestly don't know how I ended up winning this. I think I managed to keep in, uh, interrupts on his smites uh, just enough and just kept doing damage really and truly. That that was the, the whole thing. I just kept dealing damage, spamming abilities and dodging his smites. Smites hurt. So, like, smites really, 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 really hurt when they hit you. And honestly, that's a set I would consider trying out later on. Corrupted Dungeons, really cheap, really effective, and I think I can craft most of that. Yeah, I can craft more, except the, the you know, I think I can craft the rest. And that should be fine. Yeah, the crafting always gets you cheaper equipment and better equipment. Yeah, I am just surprised I managed to, to kill him at this point. Anyway, now to a pretty simple, uh, straightforward fight, uh, straightforward battle. Um, calculated risk. Uh, it's a cursed staff, I believe. This cursed staff is very low tier. It's, it's it's clearly like a rat. So I just burst. I just go in, fall in, and burst as much as I can. I mitigate damage on the E. Pierces me. I do not dodge. I honestly should have played much safer than this. Uh, but he also panicked over there, and I managed to get the kill. Uh, again. Simple, straightforward, not much to say about the fight. Cannot say the same thing for this fight over here. I start with the mistake, I do not change my ability and this will bite me in the ass so much. 
I strike, like I'm being sneaky, uh, we're facing each other off, it's another fire stick. And I'm like, yeah, I've killed fire sticks, I refresh my food, I'm thinking, I'm checking my abilities, seeing if I should go to parry strike, and uh, thinking what I could do. But I am not putting on my reflect on my uh, hunter hood. If I had my reflect, holy hell, this should have been an easy fight, but no, no, no. I just sit there and I'm thinking, oh yeah, I got this, I know what I'm doing, I waste my freaking abilities. So I walk back, he's he's posturing, checking what ability... The guy knows what he's doing, right? The guy absolutely knows what he's doing. I, unfortunately, am making a newbie, newbie mistake. Now, it, again, the fight is going to be... Yeah, it's going to start just any second now. There you go, uh, we engage, and I interrupt him uh, by hitting those very accidentally. And over here, I realize, holy shit, I, 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 I just realize oh, I don't have my hunter hood, and I'm panicking. Uh, and I'm panicking, because I'm like, ah, oh, shit. And that's it. That's the end of it. Uh, I died. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.